Today I want to make a video uh, about something that I've been thinking about a lot. We get a lot of phone calls about this. So people will call and they'll ask, how do I, how do I get leads? How do I use my website to, to generate traffic and really get something powerful? Uh, I see it on the IDX broker um, forums. I see it in a lot of different places where real estate agents are trying to figure out ways to get traffic to their site. So I'm going to give you what I give in a lot of phone calls, information I give in a lot of phone calls to people. But basically, in my experience, I was a real estate agent before we started Realty Candy about nine years ago. And the way I got into Realty Candy is um, I had a website in northwest Arkansas around Bentonville, where Walmart's based out of. And I focused on a couple of communities there um, before I used to drive all over the whole metro area, it was like 45 minutes one way and 45 minutes the other way. And I was just driving around all the time and I got sick of it. And so I started focusing on a few key areas. And there were a couple of subdivisions that were pretty close to where I lived that those two subdivisions constituted about 25% of all the sales in our MLS area. So this is back in 2009 which if any of you were real estate agents back then, you know that, that was, those were tough times. So I would focus on those areas, and I built websites that, that focused on those areas, and we got traffic off of those. So I tell people nowadays when they call me up, how do I get traffic to my website? There's really two ways to get traffic to your website. Either one, buy a ton of Google ads or Facebook ads or however you're going to buy ads and work that. And that's really expensive. And that's kind of like renting, which I think is interesting for real estate agents because we tell people about the value of owning property instead of renting. And yet, oftentimes, real estate agents essentially rent their website. Maybe they get it from a vendor who controls their, their website and they can't change it or modify it or go anywhere else. So to that, real quickly, that here's a quick pitch. That's why we like WordPress and we like the products that we have uh, with WordPress because our clients can take them and go. They own those sites. And so if something, there's a fallout between us and them, they can take their website and go somewhere else. There's tons of people that'll take care of them. So the second option is doing content marketing. And that's where you actually end up owning all your marketing. To do content marketing, you have to write. And there's no way around it. You can hire somebody to write for you. You may be able to get your brother-in-law or your niece or somebody like that, somebody from the community college, but there's no way around it. We've had clients that have done really, really well using this system. Um, we had a client in Hoboken, New Jersey, that just crushed it by using content marketing and building out pages about all the different, um, all the different buildings in the Hoboken area. So today I want to showcase just two or three of our clients. Um, you know, right now it's actually uh, March 23rd. We're in the middle of this coronavirus thing, and I figure if you're a real estate agent and uh, you know you're gonna maybe have to hunker down, you're gonna need something to do, a way to work on your business. Your website and IDX broker are gonna provide you a great opportunity to to get a lot of stuff done. So let's just dive in. The first site I want to show you is HuntBrothersRealty.com. This is owned by a friend of mine, Chris Hunt. So I don't want to throw Chris uh, under the bus or give away all his secret sauce. But um, basically what these guys did is they, they hit over here. If you click where it says Cities We Service, they have all these different city names. And we're going to take a look at Bradenton today. So if you click on that Bradenton page, he's got a picture of Bradenton here at the top of the page. He's got a little bit of information about the geography, about the attractions, and then some information about the real estate. So when Google finds this, they can really sink their chops into it. And uh, there's some information about Bradenton. They want content that's original, that's interesting, and that's fresh. So if you can find a way to update this or make it a blog post or something like that, that's, that's really valuable. These folks are using our data 
graphs, our community data graph plugin, and um, pulling in this data about the areas. This is a widget that they've put on a WordPress page. So this is all on a WordPress. This is an IDX broker widget. They've styled it to match their site. But what's really valuable, in my opinion, is that when you come down here as a normal user, so I click on Bradenton, okay, 11 million, three, okay, we're in our family, we don't buy $3 million properties. We're actually looking for something maybe down here in the 200 to 300,000 range. And so he's got these all broken down into price ranges. So, you know, if I want something over 5 million, we got it. If we want three to four, we've got it. Seven to 800, we got that too. What, you're looking for condos? Okay, we got those price ranges. He's also got this broken down into active adult communities, 55 and older uh, condos, 55 plus single family homes. And then inside of Bradenton, he's got, uh, you know, condos, Holmes Beach, Lakewood Beach. He could even break this out by subdivision. Or we had a client that did this down in Tucson, and they would have it by school districts. So if you wanted uh, Washington Elementary Homes, click here. If you want Lincoln Elementary Homes, click here. Um, and so the more dialed down you get these, the more people are going to click around your website, which... Google sees as a positive sign that people are interested in the, in the information that you have. So if we click over to the Bradenton Beach, he's got a little bit of information here, but look at this. He's got all these popular communities here. So you can start, um, you know, he's got a widget showing some properties here, and I would recommend these are probably going from highest to lowest price, which works for some people. I also like newest listings so you don't get stuck every time you come looking at this 5.2 million dollar uh, property but let's say we, we click here on this community Bradenton Beach Club I honestly have no idea what we're going to see here but look he's got a bunch of information about the Bradenton Beach Club the school districts and here's some condos for sale down in that area so this is the best 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 way to do this if you go to the Bradenton Condos page, again, he's got it broken down by all these popular condo communities. Um, you know, I, I'm not familiar with this area. I'm kind of nervous about clicking on one of these and getting one that just has nothing, but here we go. So we're going to click on Pine Bay Forest. Again, whether there are any listings or not, he has all this information about that area. And look, there's still some condos for sale. So now clients can click on here and contact them and reach out for this these condos. So I like Hunt Brothers Realty as, a, as an example of the way this should be done. A couple other clients we have, here's uh, Allen's Realty Group in uh, Las Vegas. And he works uh, kind of as communities around Las Vegas, like Summerlin and uh, Green Valley. And then he's got uh, some information here, but when I click on one of these off of his off his menu here, he's got feature specific communities. So I click that, that would take me to this page, and you can look at golf course homes or water view homes. So instead of busting out by cities particularly, this is um, you know golf these types of of properties. So if I clicked on age restricted, which is kind of where I'm heading, again he's using our plug in for the data graph communities and then you can see all the homes that are available up here. He has a little bit of information here. I would I would probably think that the more information you can put in here in a good way without pushing all this data too low on the page. So if you feel like a whole page and a half of just text, people get bored and they're going to go away. Uh, so you know, you want to click through here and uh, get the information quickly to them. Sometimes I think you can put an accordion or something on these pages. You can do that with Beaver Builder. If we click on another client site, this is Top Vegas Condos. Uh, Mike Sullivan is our client over here. Uh, we've been working with these guys for a long time. What he's done is he's just got it basically, you know, divided by the strip and condos in the Vegas area. So if you say, okay, we're on the main strip and we want MGM signature, they've got little information about this. You can search condos for rent, condos for sale. Um, 
you know, all the different names are over here, so you can keep looking. There's more photos about them. So say we want to look at condos for sale over here at MGM Signature. And again, I'm not sure how this works, but this goes directly to an IDX broker saved search. And he's, he's pulling all this data here. He's got it styled to look really sharp. And uh, folks can just click through here. So you can see that they've spent a lot of time um, I referred to a couple of these sites when I did a blog post about how much does it cost to build a real estate website. My idea is that to build a good real estate website, um, you should pay Realty Candy something like 500 to 1000 bucks, but you're going to have to either pay yourself or somebody else another four to $9,000. I think you need to have five to $10,000 into your website. The least amount of that you can spend with us, the better. I think if you're spending more than 10% of your website with us, you're not putting enough content on your website. So have us do the basics, the hard work, uh, tricky coding, uh, styling type stuff. But you and your team or you and uh, the people you work with should really uh, build out all this content, all this information. Look how easy this is to search for. And, and these folks get leads. They get business off their IDX broker, off their WordPress website, and this is the way to do it. If you have any questions about this, go to realtycandy.com down at the bottom right-hand corner, hop on our chat, or shoot us an email, and we're happy to go over this with you in a little bit more detail. But right now, this is a great thing to do. Spend some time at home, build out, a hundred pages or build out three pages a day and uh, spend a month working on this while your, your real estate business is a little slower and you're going to see a huge impact as the economy picks back up. Thank you.